Driving the car is definitely an experience. You think 10 horsepower, how fast can it be? But when you're going 30 miles an hour and about to hit a jump in a car that you built, it's definitely different from anything you'll ever experience. It's nothing like driving a regular car. There are a lot of clubs here, definitely, but there aren't a lot that are like Baja. Working on a project that's been going on for years, there's so much information and so many resources here for us. Plus, it's fun, you get to drive the car. Being on the Baja team in one word, I have to say it's uh, exciting. It's applying what we learn in, in class every day. We start the year off designing the car. Once we get through our design phase, we start ordering the materials we need. Then we get to the manufacturing stage and we start building the car. The very end of the year before the first competition when we start testing the car. And the testing period is when we go out and we're trying to break the car to ensure that it won't break at competition. It was definitely frustrating to watch things come together and then break and then come together and then break. But it was a learning experience. The race was in Tennessee Tech which is in Cooksville, Tennessee. Leading up to it, we were a little bit behind on schedule, but once we were at competition, I think all our minds were set on, on trying to get the car working, trying to get the car rolling. Watching the teams get ready for the endurance race, there was a lot of very high energy people running around. When you're at competition, you get a little bit of adrenaline because you're in an endurance race, there's four hours. It's all about trying to get as many laps. And I had no idea what it was gonna be like, and it was, Definitely a lot more dangerous seeming than I had anticipated. Uh, there were jumps that were higher than what I'd seen before. Definitely on the Baja competition, it's all about problem solving and uh, learning to see your mistakes quickly and, and fix them as fast as possible. A lot of early mornings, late nights, all-nighters, not a whole lot of sleep. And then you look outside and the sun's back up. But uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, success is a lousy teacher. The amount of failures we had really did teach us how to do it properly, especially for next year.